Good morning, guys, and welcome to the first episode of a new series, which I'm calling Exploring The and Whatever Car It Is. And I'm going to bring you interior shots, exterior shots, and hopefully some sound clips of what the cars in this series sound like. And I'm very, very pleased to announce that the first car that I'm using for the series is the above 695 Rivali. So we're going to go through a bit of the exterior overview, what you get if you wanted to buy this car. I'm going to show you the inside, and I'm also going to give you a bit of a sound clip. So without further ado, Let's hit some cinematics and then let's talk about the outside. Right, okay, so the first thing we're gonna notice about the 695 Revival, let's start from the front. So in true Abarth form, you obviously get your Abarth beautiful badge here with color matching grill versus the paint. Because it's a Series 4, of course, you've got the Abarth kind of stenciling, which here looks really, really nice. And obviously as well, you've got the front color coded little diffuser lip here. Of course, you get the nice Series 4 headlights on this. You get the LED halo rings, which come as standard as some of the, as the new Series 4 cars. Moving around to the wheels, you've got the multi-spoke Super Sport wheels which come with the Brembo calipers which you can see here you've got some nice Brembos here on the car and moving up towards the mirror so the mirror is again matching the color of the body of course we've got the 695 Rivali badge over here and coming to look at the rear of the car this is where I think it really really starts to stand out inspired of course by Riva the boat company 175 years of Riva collaboration Abarth have pulled out 175 limited edition runs of the Rivali you can see the clear distinction right here this panel if you like which is very very boat inspired very very boat inspired it's a very very nice brushed aluminium kind of feel to it the rear of the car of course you get an Akrapovich exhaust these sound absolutely amazing the Series 4 rear diffuser in general looks very, very, very aggressive. Of course, this particular model is a coupe version of the car. So you have the extendable sunroof on the top, which is great, but this car also comes in a convertible version if you choose to go for it. The Rivali comes as a front wheel drive, as do all of the above 595s, 500s or 695s. It comes with a five speed manual gearbox. The car runs 180 horsepower and 184 foot pounds of torque. The car will top out 140 mile an hour and will do zero to 60 in 6.7 seconds. When we look at fuel consumption, the extra urban is 47.1 miles to the gallon. In town, you will get 25.8 miles to the gallon and a combined miles to the gallon of 31. Now let's move on to the interior. Let me show you what's going on inside the car. As we open the doors, you're gonna see initially what you expect to see on the normal Abarth 500s, 595 and 695, with the exception of the Biposto. But again, you've got this lovely blue leather interior trim here. Looking at the steering wheel, steering wheel is very, very nice. They have the carbon parts on the steering wheel, which is absolutely insane. The carbon dash is very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Looking at the specific seats, you've got the Rivali embroidery right on the top here. I'm not sure if you can see that because of the light, but the inspired seats, which are coming from the Riva Boat Company, which look absolutely insane. From inside the cabin, this is the view, the point of view you would see if you were to buy this car. And again, you're blessed with a lot, a lot of luxury. Obviously on the newer Series 4s, you get this uh, you get this bit of tech here, to be fair. And obviously you've got the sat-nav in here, you've got radio, but it's a lot better than what you have on the Series 3. The real nice part for me is the Reva dash. If you have a look here, it's all carbon fiber. It really, really goes with the car. You're also blessed with a carbon fiber gear knob, which looks absolutely stunning. And looking down here, here you have the limited edition plaque another great addition to this car is obviously the series fours come with glove boxes which on the series threes you don't have now let's take a look at the boot space so with all about 500s above 595s or any of the fiat 500 range in general uh, boot space a lot of people think is not really 
really good enough. But actually, when you really look at it, there's enough space in here to hold a good couple of bags, a bit of luggage. You can do everything that you need to do with this car. And you've also got the ability to fold the seats down should you choose to. So actually, what you end up having is quite a spacious car. So from a perspective of traveling, if you're gonna take this car traveling, you're definitely not gonna have any problems in putting anything in the back of the car. So this 695 Rivali is actually for sale. And if you want to buy this car, it's currently listed at 23,860. You can go for it on a PCH deal if you fancy for 279 pound a month with an annual mileage of 6,000 and you can get it right here at Bishop's and uh, JJ's your man if you want it. So guys, that car sounds ridiculous. It's a beautiful, beautiful above 695. Guys, I'm gonna to end today's video here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the start of a new series and I hope this will give you a bit of insight as to if you wanted to purchase this car, which is for sale at Bishop's in Aldershot. So I'll leave the links to the Bishop's website below and a contact number if you want to buy this car. So a massive shout out for them for letting me come down and do the filming. But stay tuned, there'll be more cars, more of this series. My name's been Steph, you guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, bye bye.